Good evening, Ruskin enjoyers. I hope you're right, because it's time for the Abnormal Barders. Today we have five Abnormals to chase after, that being the garage door, the large box. We also have the likes of the uh, blocky lighthouse door. We have cyber gloves, and of course we have the custom Thunder Gold SMG. Very nice, very cool. We also have some regular skins. Now, before we could proceed, you're probably sitting there wondering, what's an Abnormal, what's a regular skin? Well, if you were to look in the description right now, you'll see two videos have been provided in the description. Basically, if you watch the first one, it's a short video. In 60 seconds, it'll briefly explain all the details tells in regards to abnormals why we care well basically we know certain skins will be marketable at a set time every single week so we race to try and put down the fastest barter possible in hopes of picking up those skins for a much cheaper price in the future and of course selling them for a very nice profit yes it's all in an effort to make some sweet delicious looking profit now if that's not enough for you there is a second video provided which is a little bit more in depth 20 minutes to be precise but it does explain further how to identify what abnormals are you know what skins every single week and whatnot how it works based on times and whatnot consider giving out a good book it should explain everything for you so what's this uh what's this stream what's this video for well now we're going to go ahead and try and figure out what prices we might want to offer for these skins we do this pretty much every single week we have a good idea how these skins are likely going to behave after this we have to take into consideration potential continuations that might be happening which i do have information in regards to that so sit back and relax let's start yapping let's start talking about the likes of this tomb of the octopus garage door right so First of all, how many garage doors have we had so far this year? As we take a look over to here, what do we see? We've had eight garage doors so far this year. We are, what, 15 weeks into 2024? I can't help but assume we're going to be seeing a lot more is the point I'm trying to get across. And recently, we've had some very cool-looking garage doors. Can't help but assume we're going to see even more cool-looking garage doors. So, yeah, it's in a bit of a weird spot. But I should also just quickly showcase this to you. Recently, with the most recent skins that we've seen being submitted, we did see a continuation. As I hop over to here, what do we see? We have too many Octopus Sheep Minador. Now that's not the only potential deplorable continuation for the Tomb of the Octopus set we also have from the previous week, we have a large box. So who knows what potentially might happen, but there is clearly an attempt to continue this, there is an attempt to turn this into, into a collection. That's all nice, that's all good. But I have to really get this point across. We have seen a lot of deplorable continuations this past weekend. So if I just quickly go through all of these very quickly, we've got Shadowborn, we've got Pirate, we've got Blocky, we've got... We've got, sorry, <laughs> Polished Obsidian, we've got Clan Base, we've got Tomb of the Octopus, Hypnogena, so like, that's like 10 different deplorable collections aiming for a spot in a future Rust store. It could be tomorrow, it could be next week, we don't know. But just understand this... We have no idea what potentially could be picked, right? That's the problem. Face punch decides. So you have to take this into consideration. This collection has a lot of competition because, you know, with Shadowborn, that's been doing quite all right. We've got likes of Blocky. There could be another collection that gets a continuation. Who knows? So, yeah. Um... <sighs> This is annoying. Now, I did bring this up in the likes of my Rust Workshop skin checks. I was like, guys, you really got to take this into consideration. Whilst we're seeing tons of skins, which is all nice and dandy, who knows what can be picked from here and now. But on the horizon, we do potentially have complete the sets next month. Who knows? We did have uh, complete the sets for May 2023. But I'm conflicted. Because whilst it's a cool looking garage door, let's just give it a quick look one more time, as you can see right here. The eyes, the detail, Mr. Himmick did a wonderful job with this. Just can't help but assume it might struggle. Based on the uh, amount of deplorable collections currently vying for a spot, it's awkward. It's awkward. So I'm going to sit here and say I expect more cool looking garage doors being accepted afterwards. I think there might be some potential problems where we might not even see a continuation appear. Uh, I might play it very safe and only do $1 to $1.50. Because, you know, somewhat recently we had the likes of the Shadowborn garage door, we had that clan base garage door, we had the blocky garage door. Well, you know what? Maybe we'll see some other co collection continuations making garage doors soon and then they get accepted. Like, I just showcased to you Hypergena. That just set up a very cool looking garage door. And if I just go to micro522.com real quickly, if I just type in garage real quickly, look at the amount of garage doors we're seeing. Look at them. It doesn't stop. <laughs> so the point I'm trying to get across is 
don't be surprised if that Tomb of the Octopus Garage Door loses its, its interest, loses all the nice, you know, um, amount of, like, pro it, well, uh, support it has, okay? We saw many, many, many cool-looking Garage Doors come out last year, and then many of them ended up suffering. So as I quickly showcase this to you, yep, remember all of these? Well, then afterwards we got the likes of cool-looking Twitch drops, cool-looking holiday-themed Garage Doors and whatnot. And now some of these are pretty down bad in terms of their price. I've said this like in many different ways over the past year, like discussing garage doors, but I do expect even more, and I do expect prices to eventually start suffering. So be prepared for such a thing. Playing it smarter with our builders is going to be very helpful for all of you. So personally, I'm only going to offer between one dollar and one dollar fifty. All right, does that sound good? Let's move on. Let's discuss the likes of the Shadowborn Large Box. So there's another video I just want to quickly bring up to all of you. I noticed there was a bit of a problem in regards to the sales after the first like 24 hours, even the 48 hours, even right now. Low sales, interesting investment. So in short, basically what I was pointing out in that video was we were seeing skins like Shadowborn selling a lot less compared to the previous skins from the same collection. So, you know, with the garage door that we first had two weeks ago, almost 26,000 subscribers over to here with the likes of the sheep in the door almost 20 just over 20,000 subscribers but this right here it's only doing 13,619 at the moment that seems really low well there's one thing we didn't really make a huge fuss about when we first looked at these skins with the rustle rotation literally the previous week what did we see we saw a shadowborn sheep in the door and a blocky cargo box and then back over to here they did, did a switch <laughs> so everyone who probably bought a very cool looking large box last week probably didn't feel the need to buy the Shadowborn one because they bought Blocky, all right? Take that into consideration. So, yeah. Plus, what did I just mention not too long ago? We are potentially going to see a Tomb of the Octopus large box. There's problems, there's issues, but there's also potential positives because you might have noticed we just had another deplorable skin being submitted. So again, over to here, we have the Shadowborn Locker. I was not anticipating this at all, but... You know what? It's been six months since we last got a locker skin in Rust. Maybe it's perfect timing. So Vase Cubist, perfectly fine idea. Awesome looking artwork. Remember, every single Shadowborn skin is a different art piece, which is nice. Standing on the Bradley after destroying everybody else. Cool. I, I wouldn't be surprised if people potentially really want that. So if I go over to here real quickly, Micro522 again, if I want to go see all of these skins based on score, well, what do I see? Turns out... Oh, no. I'm still looking at gadget doors. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Uh, score, score, score. There you go. Yeah, Shadowborn Locker is doing the best based on overall score, the Steam score. So that's like upvotes versus downvotes and favourites and blah, 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 and views. Basically, Shadowborn Locker is looking to be getting a lot of interest. So props to that at the very least. But again, still taking into consideration the sheer lack of sales. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. It actually could work out very fine. How does that? What, what, what do you mean? What are you talking about? So basically, if we do see this collection still continue, at the moment, that skin right there is sold the least. And so as long as the collection stays in demand, you know, for the foreseeable future as we enter the likes of the summertime, can't help but assume that will rise up in price pretty nicely because if people want the full set, well, there's only so many of these to go around in comparison to the garage door for example so at the moment i'm looking at that and thinking we just barely might do about fourteen thousand five hundred sales which would basically match up to the blocky large box we saw the previous week and blocky large box right now isn't doing too bad it's doing okay it's up 11 percent. that's not amazing but certainly isn't like dramatically down bad sheetman adore there that's a bit questionable but we'll talk more about that when we talk about the blocky uh, sheetman door in a second so in regards to what we see here i have strong feelings that that actually will be continuing as a set it's done consistently well. The skins are consistently getting a lot of support based on, you know, the scores we see for like on the likes of Steams with the with the upvotes and whatnot. But I've seen this happen before. Vase had some very cool looking deplorable skins with the likes of his porcelain set last year, and it just dramatically stopped randomly last year. Could it happen to this as well? I don't know. I don't know. But if you're thinking, you know what? Six months since the last locker skin. And I'll quickly prove that because it was a Twitch drop. Do you remember the charity skins that we had later last year? Here you go, around October time. That is correct. 12th of October. We got the likes of the chari a charitable Rust 2023 locker. And the month before that, we actually got this marketable pixel locker right there. We haven't had a single locker skin so far this year in 2024. So, yeah. 
I'm thinking it might have a decent chance. Maybe. Maybe. We shall see. We shall see. But as I mentioned when we were talking about the likes of that Tomb of the Octopus set, there's a lot of deplorable collections that have submitted continuations this week that are vying, aiming, desiring, wanting a spot in a future Rust store. And there's only, there's only so many spots to go around. So we shall see. But in regards to this set, I'm still feeling optimistic for it. So as I look at the likes of this price, again, very low sales. But you know what? If I just quickly go to here real quickly and see how many listings this large box currently has in the Steam market, I can imagine the same thing for the uh, Shadowborn large box after a week. Only 19? Really? Okay. That's kind of surprising. I can't help but assume Shadowborn large box will probably have more, but 19? Really? That is pretty mad. That's crazy to me. Really? Uh, sold 34 in the past 24 hours. What's going on there? I don't know. I'm a bit I'm a bit surprised by that. Okay. Well, uh <laughs> I don't know if it's going to match up like that, but if it was in the same if it if it was in a very similar position next week, um yeah, I can't help but assume that would be comfortably in the positive. All right, I feel a little bit more confident in that now. Do you know what? I'm going to do $1.50 to $2. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I can't help but assume this large box potentially at some point will go below our store price, but not by a ton. But I do feel like it sold far too little. Like, initially, uh, 48 hours, I thought that was going to do 16,000 bare minimum sales. I'm, re I'm referring to the subscriber count. But at the moment, it's only done 13,600. At best, tomorrow, as I said, it's going to probably do about 14,500. That's still a lot less. That's lower than, you know, expected. And overall, with all of these skins, same thing. These skins did not sell that much. Again, I pointed it out in that video, the low quantity situation. So, in the future, if they stay in demand, yeah, they should rise up in price. All the better for them to rise up in price, because there's only so much to go around, and there's only, only, so, there's only so many listings we're going to see. So, all right, yep, one dollar fifty to two dollars. I feel confident in that. Let's move on. Cyber boots and gloves. Right. So, um, no, 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 because that's not abnormal. All right, I'll leave that because yeah, that that's a different situation. I'd rather base it on the gloves. So let's go move over to the likes of the blocky lighthouse door. Right. So we just had a bit of a discussion there, referencing back to the likes of the previous week when I was talking about Shadowborn. But yeah, now we can go talk about the likes of the previous week based on that sheet in the door. So Shadowborn sheet in the door did twenty thousand bare minimum sales, and I can't help but assume with this coming out literally just the previous week, that's half the reason why hardly any people bought this sheet in the door right here nothing wrong with it and it is getting consistent continuation so as you can see three skins so far and what did we see appear over the past weekend we've got a rug skin that was submitted a cool looking launch site rug skin that looks cool that looks nice maybe it's a perfect timing for another rug skin who knows we shall see but do you feel confident that'll be accepted based on the other 10 or so deplorable collections trying to aim for a spot in a ruster so yeah we're conflicted again aren't we yep 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 yep. but it has been a while since we had a rug skin the respawn allegory fresco which was ever so nice to my eyes it was beautiful but hmm what now what now what now so again so as long as we see consistent deplorable skins being accepted and the deplorable collection builds up and flourishes then yes can't help but assume that sheep in the door will be doing quite all right especially with the hardly any sales but 9700 isn't like hardly anything if i look at every single sheep in the door skin that exists which is like 220 now is that true let's find out did it did it did it yep two yeah 220 if i look at all of these based on a uh, subscriber count uh, where does this currently stand? About halfway. Hmm. Hmm, that's actually not too bad. That actually kind of looks pretty okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking at some of these skins that came from, the, you know, like, like 2018 and 2020. Yeah, some of these are 2023 as well. I'd say probably 10,000 is fairly average then. Fairly average. But so as long as the collection remains in demand, I can't help but assume all the better for it to rise up in price. It sold less than the large box. And currently, that large box, which we just took a look at a second ago on the Steam market, only has 19 listings. Yeah. <laughs> so, next week, are we going to see something very similar to that? And even less, potentially? Maybe it only has 15 listings next week. Who knows? But will it stay in demand? Will Blocky Collection still be very in demand that people are actively seeking to buy it on the Steam market and the price stays stable? Garage Store still doing good. Garage store still doing good, only down by 2%. It's not the end of the world. So looking at this, $2.49, what am I going to offer? Well, I have to sit here and say we did have that curse 
Yes, we had a curse at two dollars forty nine. With the previous sheet metal doors we saw last year, there was many, 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 many sheet metal doors that were listed at two dollars forty nine and then crashed and burned. Sunken door, it's now fifty nine cents. Infernal door, seventy seven cents. Capybara door, it's half price, one dollar twenty. Adobe decorative door, sixty five cents. It didn't work out very well for a lot of these skins. But this is in a collection, and at the moment, appears to be fairly in demand. So, looking at that, and also, I just want to bring this up. If I look at all of these skins from the current week, and look by uh, upvote to downvote ratio, Blocky Launch Site has the best. Now, it doesn't have the most upvotes and whatnot, but clearly, you know, based on what we see here, best upvote to downvote ratio. So, more people likey rather than angry. So, <laughs> um... But Sheepman of Doors, Sheepman of Doors, Sheepman of Doors, we have a lot of them. And we don't really see many of them doing very well and retaining their value. Shadowborn, for example, down 17%. Literally, the, literally, as we just had a continuation appear with the current Rust Door. Now, if I were to quickly look at this, how many listings do you have, sir? You have 105. Okay. <laughs> wow, that's quite a lot. But looking at that... You're looking at about maybe 10 to 20 listings there below its rust all price. That's a bit of a problem, isn't it? That is a bit of a problem. So, yeah. I don't think we're going to be in a position like that next week, considering this sold half compared to the amount of that. Um, I am feeling a little bit more confident compared to the Shadowborn Sheepman Adore. I don't think we're going to see as many. But I do still worry for this. And again, will it actually retain a decent amount of interest? I'm going to sit here and say... I'm going to probably do $1.20 to $1.80. Yep, I'm going to go a little bit below $2, but I feel like that would be perfectly fine as time goes on. You know, as we go through another potential bear time, such as the autumn fall seasonal dip, that $1.80 price will probably be just about right. We shall see. But if you want to play it safer, offer about half the price, $1.20, and we'll see how it turns out. I do feel confident we'll be seeing some more blocky skins being accepted, but I said that about Shadowborn as well. And I don't know what these future Rust Doors are going to be like with so many continuations being spammed on the workshop. Not like it's been spammed, but a lot of people are vying for a spot. I've said that like multiple times already this video. So, yeah, that's the price I'm going to suggest. Let's move on. Let's look at the likes of the Cyber Gloves. Right, Cyber Gloves are abnormal. The boots are not. But based on what we see of the Cyber Gloves would definitely kind of impact how we look at the likes of the boots. So they're technically connected, but I don't really want to talk about them right now. It's more about the gloves. So, Cyber Collection with the boots and gloves being accepted it did kind of go up even further up in price okay fair enough that has kind of taken me by surprise it really looked like people did not care for this however i do have to bring up this potential idea do you think the only people who bought these skins were investors what do you think all right because if, if it was only investors buying this assuming oh yeah surely surely it's going to go up in price i mean it did but is there genuine interest of people actually buying these skins? Like, are the people who jumped in and bought out stock actually selling them for a profit? Is there actual customers, I, sh I guess you could say? <laughs> Let's look at Cyber Chest real quickly, because apparently this only has 15 listings on the Steam market. If I could look at it, that is. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Right, so there's 16 listings, and today we saw 28 sales. All right, fair enough. Seems to have trended up quite nicely. I did not have a lot of faith in this set. But it actually turned out to work out quite all right. Probably due to the sheer lack of listings on the Steam market. Anyway, so what we have here is a pretty okay set. But I have to sit here and say, what else is next? I didn't see any cyber skins being submitted this past weekend. Nope, didn't happen. There's the only one potential thing that could happen. A jacket skin. But right now, Damascus is trying to get a jacket skin accepted. They uh, attempted about a month ago, didn't get accepted. And then just this past weekend, we saw the likes of um, uh, a version 2. So there's already a metallic-themed uh, jacket skin trying to get a spot for a rust store. I get the feeling Face Punch doesn't want a jacket skin right now. So I look at that and I, I sit here and say, I don't really see anything else that's going to give that a boost. So I'm not really looking at these gloves and thinking, oh yeah, everything's going to be okay. But I do have to bring up the trend. So we have a complete set here. You can see that for your own eyes. All the tier, you know, all the core pieces, boots and gloves, very nice, very cool. Well, when you look at all of these roadside gloves, the vast majority of them that are part of full collections work out perfectly fine. Damascus is actually down in price, but that's more of a problem based on the amount of sales ha that happened compared to the first skins that are accepted. It's oversaturation within the set, so that's a bit of an anomaly there. But Legacy Kevlar, Lovestruck, Abyss, Thunder Gold's early down a little bit. 
bit. Then you look at the likes of Ronin's doing okay, Training's doing okay, High Quality Metal's doing just about okay. Pirate Red Sign Gloves got absolutely dumped on on the Steam market. There's like several thousands. Right, there was thousands, but yeah. Anyway. Looking at that, I'm not 100% confident. I don't think it's going to be retaining that $1.49 price easily. Personally, I look at that and I think I probably only want to do like $0.60 cents to $0.70. Cents. I can envision in the future, Cyber Collection might be fairly okay at best. But typically with a collection, so as long as it's a full collection, the gloves usually tend to be quite alright. But I'm not confident it's going to be amazing initially. All right. Now the sales of these compared to these, it's only about ten thousand, and we saw something very similar happen somewhat recently for Valentine's. I'm going back to the likes of the Lovestruck collection. You see these two? This only did seven thousand five hundred sales. This only did seven thousand six hundred sales. And when we compare that to the rest of the set, you realise, well, hang on a minute. On average, all of these core pieces did about twenty thousand sales bare minimum. These only did seven thousand five hundred. This collection is somewhat reasonably doing okay in terms of sales, but because there's only so many of these to go around, they've gone up in price ever so nice. Five dollars, three dollars, ha! Huh. And they both sold for ninety-nine cents each. So I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, could you see something very similar happening to likes of Cyber Collection? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I have to bring up that point. This could go both ways. But personally, I don't know. I I don't really want to risk it too much. I bought a whole bunch of cyber stuff in the past. I bought it when it was 50 cents each. It's not that anymore. But will the prices last? Will this actually stay in demand? Are people actively seeking to want to use this set? I don't know. I don't have that answer, I'm afraid. So I look at this and I sit here and say, for the gloves, I am personally only going to do 60 cents to 70 cents. Maybe a little bit higher. We shall see. Normally I do my first buy order and by the time I do my second buy order, I see some more barters have been put down and I assess, hmm, maybe, maybe more people are being braver and I might put down a stronger buy order. But we'll see, all right? So not super sure, I'm sorry to say, but we'll have to wait and see. So good thing it's, it's abnormal. And now I'll hop over to the likes of Thundergold Custom SMG. And this has sold the least out of all the Thundergold weapons. Now you're probably going to sit there and ask, Hedge, did we see a continuation for Thundergold Collection this past weekend? Yes, indeed. We have a sap. So that's looking pretty cool. And it's probably perfect timing, you know. We last had a sap skin being accepted back in Valentine's two months ago. So maybe everything will work out perfectly fine for the likes of this Thundergold sap. We shall see. So at the very least... We do know that there is still support for this collection and it's been fairly consistent in getting acceptances. Face Punch appears to like it quite, not, quite, you know, quite nicely. The main point I'm trying to get across is all the weapon skins have sold fairly low and it's actually slowly going downwards. From 13,000 bare minimum to 9,986 to 9,686 to just under 7,000. Now again, custom SMGs. How often are you even using them? Do you like using them? <laughs> and if you look at all the skins, it's not too hard to notice. The gun demand is clearly the issue there. It's the weapon itself. Who knows? Maybe at some point they get buffed. <laughs> I don't think so. But anyway, when you look at all the recent skins, only one of them standing out quite nicely. It's the Blackout Custom SMG. And it's only up by 5%. Clearly, people don't desire to uh, own skins for custom SMGs, and they suffer very badly. But this one right here, well sold hardly anything if i were to look at this based on you know subscriber counts this right now is like smack dab in the middle lower half maybe it's part of a notable collection that people clearly like do you reckon this actually might do a fairly decent job on retaining its value do you think with constant continuations such as the sap and maybe some many other weapon skins in the future that could still hold that could do okay because we do continuously see the likes of the SAR and the AK go up and down up and down in price not to say that's like a bad thing they always stick around their rust or price maybe things will improve when we enter the actual summertime but take a look at the AK at the moment Sold for three dollars forty nine, and uh, oh, it's actually four dollars eighteen. Looks like SCMEMS just a little bit delayed. But do you see that? Like there was a listing for three dollars thirty, but now it's four dollars eighteen, <laughs> and the barters are still okay. The barters are still okay. So I'm conflicted, right? I know custom SMGs aren't very good investments, but Thundergold seems to be stable. So yeah, even the even the you know double barrel shotgun, literally just from the previous week. Didn't do crazy sales. Most, pretty much nearly all of the double barrel shotgun skins 
performing very badly as investments. Only 20 listings, $2.43. Yes, it's below its, yes, it's, below its rust or price, but literally only two listings are below its rust or price. Yeah. And the barter sports pushing up to $2 plus. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? But I will sit here and say, if we if we strike it lucky and actually do see the likes of Thunder Gold Hoodie and Pants being accepted at some point in the future, <laughs> hopefully, um, yeah, I can't help but assume all of that will get bought out. And if there's only so many listings, <laughs> that'll be fun. So you got to really consider, hmm, will we ever, will we see some very nice things in the future, maybe? Do you really want to go for a custom SMG skin? Personally, I'm going to sit here and say, you know what? I could see it working out better compared to most custom SMG skins. So do you know what the price I'm going to do? I'm going to put down... I'm going to put down $1 to $1.50. It's going to do better than most custom SMG skins. But I still expect it to suffer at some point. But if we do see consistent acceptances, I can't help but assume it's going to do a very good job of retaining its value much like all the other weapon skins and considering this sold even less yeah i think it might actually be fairly stable so i'm optimistic for it but i'm also very cautious i should also point out how often do we even see custom smg skins being accepted well we only have 51 and you know 2022 we had quite a lot i will point that out but the year before that it was five the year before that it was five the year before that it was five and of course recently last year we only had four so far we're up to three Maybe we'll see another one or two this year. But that isn't that many, is it? So it's not like it's going to lose its thunder, lose its attention. I think it'll be okay. But okay at best. So, around its rust or price. That's why I suggest $1 to $1.50. And that's that then. So, across the board, with all those abnormals, sales were lower than expected. So if you remember from the likes of my, uh, um, my 48 hour analysis, yeah... I had I, I had a good idea of what potentially I would uh, what these sales going to reach up to, but yeah, they've all not matched up. They've all missed out. They've all sold. Le uh, le they've they're, it's lower than expected. Let's go with that. So that can be a nice positive for us, the investors. Maybe not for the uh, skin creators because they didn't make that many sales, that much profit. But eh, we're the investors, and that's what we're looking at. So overall, things are looking very interesting. But now we have to look at the likes of the uh, regular skins, the skins that aren't abnormal. Skins like the Saba boots, for example. This will only become marketable when the rust all rotates tomorrow. And based on what I just said there uh, a little bit earlier when I looked at the likes of the Saba gloves, looking at these boots, well... When you look at uh, notable collections that have complete sets and whatnot, boots don't seem to perform as good as gloves, but they are both in that very similar position of, um, well, they've sold significantly less compared to the likes of the rest of its set. Also, Beto, thank you very much for your subscription, sir. Sorry, I'm currently recording. I will speak to you afterwards. <laughs> Sorry about that. So anyway, um... So this is conflicting. We've already had a big discussion in regards to Cyber Collection, but the boots, the boots, the boots, the boots have sold more, but the boots are cheaper, so that's not too surprising. You've got some very cool, nice, shiny-looking metallic boots, but didn't we already have some nice, cool, shiny-looking metallic boots somewhat recently? Yeah. You had Damascus. You had Hard Suit. You had High Quality Metal. Down 26. Down 26. Down 6. Oh. And they sell for 99 cents each as well. 99, 99, 99. Yep. So I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, you know what, at best, I'm probably only going to offer 50 cents. I'm sorry to say, but yeah. But who knows? Maybe it does end up like Love Struck. It could go either way, but I'd rather just play it safe. All right, so I'm only going to do 50 cents for that. Apocalypse Nomad M39. So uh, we've had quite a discussion with, in regards to the likes of Apocalypse Nomad set. Every single skin here has transparency on its aim sights. The M39 is the only one that exists in regards to M39s with a transparent aim sight. So that's special. That's interesting. But does it really matter too much? Now, this isn't fully automatic. So it's not like you can shoot. Well, you could shoot like it's Counter Strike if you so wish, but you're probably going to want to aim down the sight. <laughs> At least use that. You know, holographic or something. So, I don't know. Maybe a little bit of a zoom. Treated like a sniper. I'm joking. But, hmm. It's only done 10,000 sales at best. Subscribers. Remember, SCMM does not track every single purchase. There's very likely a, more, a lot more than 9,638. We're looking at subscriber count, remember. So, at bare minimum, we know 9,638 individual people bought that skin. 
And comparing it to all the other M39 skins, we can see that we only have nine skins in total. Five of them came out back in 2019, so technically speaking, I guess you could say they're vintage. There's only so many of these to go around, they're quite rare. And then the more recent skins, we got the likes of the uh, Tempered M39 that did about 40,000 sales, the uh, Bombshell M39 that did 17,000 sales, we got the likes of Kevlar there, 11,765, and then we have this here, the lowest performing skin, with only 9,646 sales, bare minimum. The only one with transparency. Do you reckon that might work out right for it in the future? I've, I could envision it. I have seen the likes of the AK doing rather well. Remember, most AKs that exist do not perform very well but that's doing okay but that sold hardly anything but that's good we're referencing that right now in regards to this m39 so i'm conflicted <laughs> by tomorrow i do believe this will do at least ten thousand bare minimum sales but it'll still be the lowest performing skin in terms of sales out of all the m39s so as long as we see consistent uploads for the apocalypse nomad which i can confirm is correct uh well, well i'll go to here real quickly i can confirm over the past weekend we saw a sar skin being submitted and of course you know it it also had transparency so we've seen the likes of a, an attempt for hoodie and pants and whatnot but here is the uh the sap the sap set skipper Dark Schneider, what are you doing? Anyway, look at that. You can see that right there. Very nice, very cool. I think that'd sell very nicely. I think I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's accepted. Let's put it that way. But that right there, do you reckon it's definitely going to happen? And of course, you know, we've had Twitch drops like that as well, given, a, given to us for free. But is that what people truly desire or do they not care? So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking I could see it performing quite all right. Better compared to many of the other recent M39 skins. I think I'm going to do between $1 and $1.50. That's what I'm going to do. I think it's going to do better. But I don't think it's going to always be perfect. Initially last year, the M39 skin that we saw being accepted last year did a very decent job in retaining its value. But slowly as time went on, it did start to go down, down, down. And you know, it's, it's selling at $1.15. So that's, that's promising at the very least. It looks like these don't drop down below a dollar very easily. So we haven't seen that happen in the past. $1 at the very least does seem to be okay. All right. So that's okay. Let's move on. Imperial Pump Shotgun. I had a little talking point. Uh, you'd be surprised by this, but every single Pump Shotgun skin that exists on the Steam market, they have very low listings. So if I go over to here, PPP, Pump Shotgun, and away we go. Look how, many, how much quantity we have for all of these. The highest quantity out of all skins is 95 quantity, and that's Chieftain Pump Shotgun. I'm pretty sure that was really easy to get a long time ago in the, in the original versions of the loot boxes. So when you look at some of the skins here that are actually in like rust doors and whatnot, somewhat recently, you got light uh, lightweight, you got you got toxic wolf and whatnot. They've only got like fifty listings. And as we go on, <laughs> as we go on, you can see the listings really do drop off in terms of quantity. Um, let's go over to here, page three, page three. Come on, Steam's not working very well, but I'm pretty sure you get the idea. Like, El Diablo came out not too long ago, 15 listings. You got, like, uh, Ink Dragon last year, 19 listings. There's hardly anything. But it's not like they're doing super crazy, super amazing either. Like, look at Ink Dragon right now, if we could. Uh, come on, Steam, thank you. Right, this didn't sell that much last year, and it's only selling for $2.25. Its bar has only gone up to $1.66. Let's go actually look at that, because uh, here's the main point. Out of all the pump shotgun skins that sold last year, that Ink Dragon only did like 5,500 sales. And yet, right now, it's only up by 30 cents. That don't look very promising, does it? Gone are the days where we have the super OP slugs, but all the older pump shotguns are still doing mostly okay. But this right here, 8,777 bare minimum sales. Can't help but assume it's going to probably end up like the No Mercy pump shotgun and the El Diablo pump shotgun. Not terrible, but still down. So I look at the uh, I look at this Imperial Pump Shotgun. I do expect more Imperial skins to be produced, potentially accepted. But it'll be a weapon only collection, so yeah. What I'm gonna sit here and say is I'm gonna do eighty cents to one dollar twenty. It's not gonna go down super bad, but it's not gonna do at the absolute best. So with a smart buy order, anything can be a decent profit. That's why I'm suggesting eighty cents to one dollar twenty, and I won't put do I won't put down a massive quantity because I don't expect a ton of these to be on the Steam market. Low listings, remember? So maybe only like thirty quantity buy orders. So yeah, that's interesting. Scroll down. King Carly Furnace only did about six thousand subscribers. 
Now, I don't see the appeal too much. Okay, apparently this is supposed to look like a dumpling. I don't know what the Kinkali is. I mean, we could Google it in a minute if you really want to, but eh. And by default, with furnaces that make me go, eh, I'm not super confident in them. Now, uh, all the furnaces that came out this year, we have seen the likes of Polished Obsidian doing quite all right, but that was pumped. Someone jumped in and bought out all the stock, so that was a little bit awkward. Blackberry Furnaces also started to go below its store price as well. It was performing very nicely, but maybe it's just a straggler. I can confirm it's not just a straggler. Well, actually, I will sit here and say this. It's like five listings below its store price. So five listings out of 38 are below its store price. But maybe we'll probably see some more Blackberry skins in the near future. We'll see, we'll see. But, yeah, even that started to go down. So I don't really have a lot of, like... Confidence with that at all. <laughs> a Georgian dumpling. Okay, cool. It's a meat pocket. All right. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to probably only do at best like 50 or 60 cents. And I'm very sorry to say that, but I don't see a lot of... I don't see it working out super great. However, with a sheer lack of sales, means at some point in the future, that could get pumped. That could get pumped. But... Are we going to rely on that? I don't want to. No, I don't want to rely on something potentially getting pumped. So I look at that furnace and I sit here and say, personally, I'm probably at best only going to do like 50 cents by order. I don't think it's going to retain a lot of interest and I don't think it's going to do very well. But 50 cents, meh. Yeah, you could probably still make a decent amount of profit if you were to buy them at that price and flip them. If you can flip them, will that actually have people vying to buy it on the Steam market? I don't know. I don't think so. Now we've got the likes of the uh, Snakebite Hunting Bow. So I can confirm, last week we did see the likes of a continuation. There was a sexual charge that was submitted. The sleeping bag is down by 16%. However, there's only 22 listings apparently. So that seems to be okay. It's like, it's not doomed. You know, just a few sales. Suddenly it's back up to its uh, rust off price again. I think. What well, price did you sell for again? $2.49. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, maybe a little bit more listings. Uh, a little bit, little bit more sales. Anyway, anyway. So, uh, yeah, the bow. The bow, the bow, the bow. That's the first hunting bow skin to be accepted this year. But when I first saw it, I made this point. Look at all the bow skins that came out over the past two or three years. You might notice a lot of them ended up around a dollar. Yeah. I don't have a lot of faith in that bow. <laughs> um, but it sold hardly anything. You very likely will see hardly any listings. You very likely will see that potentially selling okay. You might even see it selling very nicely, why, or rather listed very nicely. Why? Because with sheer lack of listings, the only listings will probably be high prices. Maybe some people will think, oh, I actually wanted that, but I didn't buy it when it was in the Steam, uh, when it was in the rush store. Guess I had to buy it from the Steam market. Oh, what? They're selling for $3 a piece? Oh, well, I guess I'll do it. Like, I don't know. But I don't think, you know, based on what we see here, clearly it didn't have that much interest whilst in the rush store. But... Maybe Snakebite really does turn into an interesting collection. We've had a sleeping bag. We've had a bow. There was a sexual charge submitted. I can't foresee what's going to happen next, but that's very low sales. And we have seen many bows in the past getting pumped. Not too long ago, or well, it's still technically happening, we did see the likes of that uh, pumpkin bow having a bit of a bit of a buyout every now and then. Something might be happening with that soon. Keep an eye out. But that only had like 3,000 sales. So be prepared for such a thing. Yeah, that only had 4,000 sales. 4,318. And someone was going around buying out like 50 of these at like $2 a piece. So right now it says $2.18. I assure you, for a very long time, that was selling for like 70 cents because people didn't care for it. It's a glow in the dark buy. So that right there, very similar in its position. We shall see. We shall see. It's up to you, with you with what, what you do with that information. But personally, as a buy order, 60 cents to 80 cents. That's what I'm going to do. It, worst you know worst case it, worst case situation just change it into metal and sell the metal so yeah that will, that's what i'll do so yeah overall low sales expected higher didn't happen will we see the exact same thing with the next rust door i'll be keeping an eye on that don't worry but on the horizon technically beginning next month we will see may roll in and the beginning of summer as you can see of last year may is what kicked off with the higher player counts the, uh, the average right there at the very least with eighty-seven thousand people playing then it went up to 91 92 000, then 95,645 with a very nice peak player count of 182,000 at one point that's very nice that's very cool I'm expecting prices to improve even further. You might have noticed across the board the, the likes of many skins that we see in the Rust Steam market at the moment. Lots of skins have been improving ever so nicely. There's also a lot of pumps going on as well. I've been discussing that a lot as well. But we haven't reached our peak yet. 
And I can't help but assume it's going to probably happen around July time. That's where I think we're going to really notice some nice prices. And hopefully it's a lot better compared to like to what we saw post-Christmas, please. So stay optimistic, but do be aware. Still haven't seen that 75% discount. We thought last night it was going to happen because there's like a ping and there's an update. But nope, no 75%. Don't know what's going on there, but still expected to happen. And I hope you have also been keeping an eye on the likes of um, the... Uh, <laughs> I've never seen an image before, but anyway. Uh, I hope you've been keeping an eye on the likes of the commits. Lots of new interesting information has been mentioned. Of course, you're, you're probably well aware of Red Town. Um, Red Town, sorry about that. But I've also seen some changes, like there's potentially going to be some sort of dynamic events happening with helicopters where they'll actually crash into monuments or something. That's pretty cool. There's also mentions of a brand new weapon, the SKS. That's been on there for a while now. I'm not sure if they're going to have that ready by May. But keep an eye out because we're getting closer to May 4 swipe. You're going to see something that's going to be just about finished in time for that force swipe. Don't know what it is yet. We've still got another two weeks to go, but keep an eye on this. All right. All right. So what are we going to expect for tomorrow? Well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so over to here again, we have TGG's top picks. Um, we saw early picks uh, with the current rust store and we saw uh, typical picks. So if you're looking for early picks... Look at my Rust Workshop skin checks video, or if you're if you're looking for typical picks, look at TGG's top picks. If I scroll down, you'll see some skins that are already accepted. Because whilst he set up his collection, early picks happen. Shadowborn Large Box, King Carly Furnace. I mean, we've already talked about them, haven't we? So you get the idea. You get the idea. So what could be accepted? I don't know. I don't know. Face punch decides. But I can show you with the likes of Mr. Micro's website what everybody's supporting. But at the very least, I will just quickly bring this up. I've already mentioned the likes of all the deplorables continuations. I've already mentioned that we got the likes of the Thunder Gold Sap, you know, right there. But you've also got the likes of uh, you got Jungle MP5. You've got the likes of the Apocalypse Nomad Tsar. We already talked about that. Uh, Black Diamond LR300. What else do we see? We've got Industrial Blood AK47. Whiteout AK47. Oh, oh, oh yes. Primitive Crabbo, Primitive Skull Force, and we've seen the return of Redemption Tier 2. Yes, Redemption Collection has returned. I don't think it has that much competition in regards to other continuations of uh, clothing and armour. That seems to be in a very interesting spot, so keep an eye on that Redemption Collection, right? Keep an eye on all those skins. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't really have that much competition. Now, if I go over to here, Micro's website, quick refresh, just to be, you know, completely, you know, nice clean slate. I'm going to look at all of these based on score. So out of all the newest skins that we see, we've got the likes of Shadowborn Locker, Whiteout AK-47, Apocalypse Nomad Sar, then you've got the likes of Redemption, and then we've got the likes of Tomb of the Octopus. I scroll down to the previous week. These skins should be the typical picks, and of course, the uh, very nice performing skins that you see here were already accepted, but I see Neon Hazmat Garage Doors doing very nicely over there, Chameleon L96, Tomb the octopus large box high quality metal base box you know these are all perfectly fine you know suggestions but we could just look purely based like on upvotes so here we go i mean you've got the likes of neon has met there still it's the same things basically neon entrance you got apocalypse nomad yeah, we already have that don't we because we've got the version two hunting chest was right there let's scroll up to the uh, uh early picks the potential early picks what do we see here redemption white out thunder god set shadowborn redemption again tomb yeah yeah you can see all of this so look in the description of this video i will link you to micro's website go look at all these different like categories that you can see i mean of course you could look at date submitted if you so wish but upvote to downvote ratio you know block is doing very nicely there lots of interesting information and you can keep track whether skins that perform very nicely in terms of attention in the workshop actually lead to of course being accepted by default the answer is no <laughs> but keep track of all of this so very nice very cool i have no idea what's going to be appearing tomorrow but at the very least i do know we're going to have abnormals in just a few hours time so let's skip ahead and let's go do those buy orders right here we are three seconds let's go i'm going to go for the thunder gold custom smg first all right when it appears yeah uh, uh, uh. If it wants to. Yeah, oh, and, uh, I'll go for this one instead then. All right, cool. All right, let's go to that. Thank you. And over to here. Right, over to here. Over to here. Okay, I might. Yeah, Steam servers are dodgy. Oh, we got a little. Oh, oh, no. 
All right, then we'll just go hop over to here then. We'll do these ones instead. Oh, what do we have? No, no. Oh, there no. <sighs> I'm trying to put it, I'm trying to do it all in an order and it ain't working, chat. I'm uh, kind of struggling a little bit. It's a bit annoying. Just a bit. Back over to here. Ah, wrong spot. Completely wrong spot. I've really screwed this up. Uh, I guess it's my own fault for not being good enough. <laughs> Should have bought large books. Um. Yeah, that's okay, right, hello, how are you doing? And then uh, over to here. Right, what's the borders looking like on you? Pretty okay to a point. All right, that is everything then. We did our borders. Hope that was reasonably fast enough. I know there is another thing to do, but yeah, we'll sort that out. Okay, uh, Charlie, I'll respond to you in a second. Is that part of going for it? No, 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 something's gone wrong. Okay, look, I'm going to just, I'm just going to, what's that, what's going on? Okay, I'm going to skip ahead. Hopefully we can figure out if this is a problem or not. Hopefully not, but yeah, you get the idea. So let's just skip ahead and we'll look at the bar to support afterwards for that. Right then, gentlemen, it's been 11 minutes, and it's time to go ahead and take a look at those skins, see how their bar to support looks. Uh, if I quickly hop over to here, what do we see? Hey, we've got the Shadowborn large box right here with just over 11, uh, 1,000 builders. Sorry, not 11,000. <laughs> and it's looking pretty good. So, what do we see right there? Very decent builders pushing all the way above $1, all the way to $1.50, comfortably all the way up to $2. We have a 50 quantity builder here with at $2.12. For a skin that's selling at $2.49 right about now, that's looking pretty reasonable. If you're looking for a skin to buy right now, that's looking pretty good. It sold less than we're expecting. We're expecting more skins being produced. We are optimistic that we'll see another skin being accepted. It's easy to be optimistic, all right? Just want to point that out. It's easy to assume we're going to get a continuation. Life can be cruel. And so are face punches acceptances, their choices for what they pick. <laughs> okay, just point that out. But we did say earlier, currently right now, with all the recent submissions, you've got 10 collections with continuations that are hoping to get a spot in the next few Rust stores. So please keep that in mind. You might just assume, oh, clearly we're going to get those Shadowborn lockers. Nothing is a guarantee, all right? So that's why we brought that up earlier. But as of now, if you are forced to buy a skin from the Rust store right about now, that is looking perfectly fine. If we move on to the next one, Blocky Lighthouse Store. This is also selling for $2.49, and as I look over to here, it doesn't have as much support. Yeah, I mean, less overall requests, but the bar does support, as you can see, as it builds up comfortably above a dollar, pushes towards the likes of $1.50, but it stops at one six five. As of now, that doesn't look as good. However, we know this did sell fairly less. It's only got about 10,000 subscribers. So at the very least, maybe you might want to wait it out a little bit longer. Maybe another 12 hours, maybe another 20. But in about 20 hours, we do expect the Rustor rotation to happen. So you've got to think on it. Maybe a smart boulder is perfectly fine enough. Like, we've only got one boulder there at $2.00. You could put down a $2 builder, buy these for 50 cents cheaper, and we'll see what happens next. Maybe we do get the instant continuation with that rug skin. Who knows? But as of now, a bit questionable, but with uh, what we saw with the blocky uh, large box in the previous week, that only has 19 listings at the moment. Shadowborn, uh, in comparison, its sheep and a door has over 100. Maybe blocky just doesn't get a lot of listings. As of now, we've only got two at $30. You don't think it's the Easter Farm door guy, do you? Chat? Chat? You don't think it's the Easter Farm door guy, do you? <laughs> That's looking a little, little bit suspicious. I'm just pointing that out. We'll show you that off in a second. But anyway, uh, sold a lot less than we're expecting. It might be fine. It might not be. We shall see. But as of now, it seems to be pretty comfortable. So 
personally, I'd rather buy the large box if I were to buy something. Over to here with the likes of the Tomb of the Octopus. This potentially could expand into a collection. Uh, we have seen the likes of the large box. We have seen the likes of the Sheep Manador. But in terms of its builders, currently as of now, yeah, it's not looking as strong compared to the previous deplorables. Pretty much the exact same thing, if anything. You know, fairly decent going all the way up to about $1.50. And it stops at around, well, one seven five here. So it goes a little bit higher but it's all dependent will we actually see a continuation being accepted or not so i'm not 100 percent sure in that but it does have potential for a, becoming a collection so we'll keep an eye on this but we do know we're very likely going to be seeing another cool looking garage door anytime soon over to here thunder gold custom smg two dollars 49 sold very low only seven thousand subscribers its builders are currently only pushing up to about one dollar 70. it stops right there but we did say we were a bit we, we we wanted to be a bit careful of this one. It's the weapon itself rather than the collection. But the collection keeps getting more acceptances, and if we get the sap tomorrow, whew, that'll be interesting, won't it? The AK, the SAR, the double barrel shotgun have done a very good job in retaining their values. Will the same thing apply to the likes of this custom SMG? We shall see. And if that is going to happen, it'll be one of the only recent custom SMG skins to actually stay in the positive. The other one being Blackout. So, people seem to be appreciating Thunder Gold for the current moment. Will it help and support this custom SMG? As of now, the cheapest listings are only $5. But again, look at it in 12 hours, you'll probably see a lot more listings and cheaper prices. I'm looking at that and I'm saying, uh, you're probably better off just doing a bilder on that. We shall see. And over to here, Cyber Gloves. Well, $1.49. It does not have the support new. It does not have the support. Uh, stops at $1.11. But hey, maybe we do get a jacket. Maybe we do get a whole bunch of other cyber skins, whether it's weapons or deplorables. Who knows? But it's quite clear we don't really have any clothing and armor pieces left. Unless we get primitive skins? Eh. We shall see. It's decent support, but it's not close to its rust or price. Will it still go below $1.49? Probably. It'll probably end up like most uh, gloves where they're only just slightly above a dollar. Eh, we'll see. But usually that's fine because they normally sell for 99 cents, but not that one. So, Smart buy order. Yes, you can do that, but I think everyone's got a very solid spot just below a dollar right there. So, If anything, the only thing I'm looking optimistically at in terms of doing a very good job in retaining its value is this however we did think the same in regards to the sheep and door previously last week i'm sure and well that's not doing super great at the moment but this did sell less quite a lot less compared to that so that large box is in a very weird spot didn't sell that much we're not a hundred percent sure we're going to see another large box skin soon probably <laughs> there's a lot of deplorable collections currently pushing for continuations but um we shall see. Now, I should also point out quite a lot of people weren't exactly super happy with the glow in the dark on the sides. Apparently, it wasn't as noticeable. That's another, you know, negative thing for it. But as of now, well, you've already got 14 listings, and the lowest listing is $3.38. I'm pretty sure we'll probably see a lot more by tomorrow. So, you know what? Wait until tomorrow. Wait until later tomorrow. Look at it then. If it's got like another 50 listings and. It's close to $2.49. That might be a problem. But if we get that locker skin instantly accepted tomorrow, well. We'll have to wait and see. So, yeah, probably better off with a builder. It's always safer to do a builder. <laughs> All right, then. So, overall, it was a bit of a silly week. And, of course, tomorrow, when the rust door rotates, the boots, the shotgun, the uh, M39, the furnace, and the hunting bow will become marketable. So make sure you've got those links readily prepared. It could be an early rust door rotation tomorrow. It was last week when it didn't really need to. Normally, we'd expect an early rust door rotation for the beginning of the month, but not like the weeks in between. So, we shall see. We shall see. Keep an eye on the likes of, well, I mean, you can keep an eye on that if you want, but keep an eye on the likes of the Rust Workshop skin checks that I put out very recently. All the new skins are located right here on this collection. We are expecting early picks tomorrow. Considering we had five early picks with the current Rust Store, I wouldn't be surprised that they probably continue with that. Uh, but you should also expect some typical picks. Get a good look at all of that. And if you don't want to look at collections, you can always just go to Micro's website. Just a quick refresh. All right, I want to just see all the week 15 skins. You know, the skins from the previous week. Actually, no, this current week past weekend. So there you go. 
these are all the early picks that made it on time with the deadline and then if we go to the likes of week 14 all the typical picks you know we've already had a few skins accepted because of course we had early picks the previous rust store so get a good look at all of that look at their you know up, up vote to down vote ratio their up votes their scores it's all there and you can guess hmm, maybe this will be acceptable maybe it won't we shall see that's a wrap. Thank you very much for watching me. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you all. And I hope you have a lovely evening, a lovely morning, or whatever. You know, Rustle rotation tomorrow. You get the idea. And uh, we'll see if everything works out all right. Will we see continuations of the skins that we've discussed today? Or will we see newer things? Non-collection continuations. We shall see. So that. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.